What's up, family? How you guys doing today? Today, we are building a home theater PC. Let's get this done. So, I'm setting up my home theater room. I need a PC for it. Now, many people are like, yeah, why a home theater PC? Why AC PC? Most TVs nowadays are pretty smart. They have all the Netflixes on there, Amazon Prime, HBO, Android TV boxes, and you know, and Roku's basically took over the world when it comes to this genre. But I think a PC is very versatile and does everything and more. Especially, I'm building a gaming HCPC. This way, you know, if you want to, you can connect your VR to it. I use the PC to run all those uh, heavy VR games. Or if you want to play video games with your theater, you can do that, you know. And I just feel like a PC is just, it gives you a lot more options than a Roku or uh, an Android box does or an Android TV. So we're going to build an HCPC. Now, we're going to do it a little bit different. We're not going to use all new parts. We're going to use Older parts that are still great, they're still running, and they're just lying around in my parts cabinet over here. So let's go to the parts cabinet and select our PC parts. All right, so let's pick our parts right here. So first thing, I think we're gonna use our GTX 1080 right here. Now, if it doesn't fit in our case, we'll probably have to go down to our 970. But uh, this will be fun to use. And uh, need an SSD. Now let's see what else, what else, what else, what else. All right. Alright, here yeah, there should be a Devil's Canyon 4790K in here. Let's see what else. We're gonna need a cooler, so let's grab this. This case over here, an EVJ Hydron. Um, this is basically a complete system in here. Just gonna change a few things. Does have a 500 watt gold power supply in here. H97, I believe, is in here as well by ASRock. So, uh, yeah, let's use this. Now, if this case doesn't work, we have that case chilling over there, so we might use that. I think that's all the parts we're gonna use. If you guys enjoyed this type of content, smash that subscribe. Help the channel out greatly. Our goal is to get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the summer. And if we do, I'll be doing another $100 giveaway, so subscribe. Let's get this done. So here are the parts that we're gonna use. We're gonna use this EVJ Hadron case with the EVJ 500 watt power supply that comes with the case. We're gonna use our freshly baked GTX 1080. So if you haven't seen the video for that, it will be right here. This does have eight gigs of RAM on it, but uh, let's go with a pair of HyperX a 16 gig kit right here. A good old Samsung SSD, this is the 840 EVO. So I haven't decided what motherboard I'm going to use. I think I'm going to go with the Azrock motherboard I have in here just to keep the blue theme going on. I do have the Gigabyte one here, so I might switch out to this. But I think I might keep with the Azrock just to keep with a nice blue theme that's going on. And the CPU that I'm going to use is the Intel i7 4th Gen 4790K. So uh, I know I'm not going to be able to overclock in this case because it's not really an overclocking motherboard, but. Hey, who cares? Power! And uh, I do have a Corsair H70 water cooler lying around, but uh, it's a little bit bulky. But I'm gonna go with this EVGA 92 millimeter cooler. So I guess we're building an uh, 4 gen Intel build. Uh, that's gonna be pretty decent for gaming. The 1080 is a beast. And this is the parts that we're gonna use. And uh, let's build this PC together. This video is gonna be a little bit different. It's not gonna be a tutorial. If you want a tutorial on how to build a PC, see this video over here where I built my brother's PC. Check it out. So let's build this PC. All right, so let's prep this PC. First, let's open this guy up. Put this aside, maybe clean this up in a bit. Move some antennas before they break. We don't want that to happen. It is a bit dusty in here. Let's go out and take out the drives. Hmm, Toshiba one terabyte. And another SSD. We might have Windows on it. We might use this instead of the Samsung. We'll see. This right here converts a USB header into two USB ports. So you can put stuff inside. You have your receivers all inside. So nothing's on the outside. That's pretty cool. Probably not gonna use it. Let's take out the old 8 gig stick. It is dusty in here. Grab your Swiffer. Get as much of the dust as you can out. Sadly, we're not gonna be able to use our 1080. I still want to keep the PC fairly compact, so let's grab the 970. Here's our 970. I guess we're sticking with the blue and EVGA theme. I had in here before my 760 that's in there, so they're the same size, so I know it will fit in just fine. I was thinking I was going to have to remove this here, but no need. So let's take off the old Intel cooler. I'm just going to hit this with a little bit of compressed air. Smooth the top shroud as well. I remember I built this system for my sister back when she was just starting college. It served her well for a while. Just she doesn't need a desktop anymore, you know. Move on towards a, uh, a laptop. So now I was just sitting collecting dust, and I was thinking, hey, why not? Let's turn this into a gaming HDPC. I have some beefy graphic cards lying around. I want to. Well, 
center, this way it doesn't take up much space. This is what we're doing now. Whew. The reason why I'm moving this is, no matter how much the dust, is still more dust, so I think there's a lot of dust in the bottom. Dust, the gift that keeps on giving. So we remove as much dust as we can, so let's just slap this guy back together. Why am I struggling? Let's use some power tools. If something doesn't want to go in, use a bigger tool. Replacement screw. There we go. Power supply secured. So let's clean off the CPU now so we can put on our i7. I believe this is an old i3. i3-4160. And our i7 is installed. Let's clean up our i7. Now I thought about delitting this CPU just to get a little extra cooling. But I'm not overclocking so I really don't need to do all that. Alright, let's slap in our RAMs. <music> I think the next thing we should do is slap in our GPU. I remember the first time when they introduced this over here, having the GPU back and go outside a little bit. Oh, such an ingenious idea for space saving. Before we start running out of space, let's so our USB 3.0 header. I decided to stay with this scan disk drive. This way, if I remember correctly, it should have Windows on here and we can reuse the key from it. Let's slap this right here. I'm gonna need all the space we can get. Time to slap in the GPU. Our 970 is installed. All right, let's secure it. The things we do for cable management. The reason why I haven't installed the CPU cooler is because I need the space to do cable management first. So let's move this to the side while we work on the cooler a little bit. So I'll just take this bracket off. So there's so much dust I could remove. Looks like the dust is kind of ingrained into the fins itself. Let's try to use a different brush. Paintbrush. Some IPA. And it looks like new. And that's as clean as that's gonna get. Our fan is installed. So the way I'm gonna install this fan in the case will be like this. Pulling air across the fins and out through the exhaust. Since this case only has intake from the bottom and exhaust from the top, I should probably invest in a dust shield for it. I like the way this looks. Much better. So I'm gonna install the fan header since it's in a awkward location. Let's clean the mating surfaces. Let's put some thermal grizzly on there. Now is everything slapped back together? Let's see if it turns on. Cable of light. Let's see. Alright. It lives! It is alive. Alright, now let's just button her back up together. The computer posts. Okay, we can see we got our i7. 4790K here, 16 gigs of RAM. All right, let's see, let's do a few things. All right, so all of our settings are saved. Function F10. There we go. Save our settings. And let's see if we have Windows installed here. Yes, and we have Windows. That's great. Looks like it's Windows 8. Let's see, maybe we can upgrade to Windows 11. All right. So we finally successfully installed Windows 10. I had to do a clean install, so get the ISO back to a USB and install it. Uh, I wasn't able to upgrade from 8.1 to Windows 10. I guess uh, Windows nerfed that, so you don't get that free upgrade. But it is what it is. And next step is, uh, we're gonna set all the updates, uh, drivers, and some of the basic software. If you guys wanna see how to set up uh, Windows, you can see a link right here for Windows 10. And now that we have all that installed, next step is, let's go over some HTPC specific softwares that we will use to run on the HCPC, so let's go over that. 
All right, now that we have installed all of our drivers and updates and everything, let's see what softwares we will use on this HTPC. So one of the first softwares that I like to use on my HTPCs is Kodi or you know XBMC. That's what it used to be called back in the day. Okay, let's run Kodi. Yes, allow access. What I like about Kodi is just the modularity it has. Um, right now it's not set up, but when I do set it up, you know, I have like a whole bunch of movies here. It's gonna pull all from my NAS. You know, you can set it up to like play trailers, have the theme song of the TV of the TV show. It has a lot of modularity. You can have different themes. I mean, you could go well, as far as your heart desires with the software. You can connect TV here if you like to. Hey, even allows games now. It is a very modular software, and it's like one of those must have for HTPCs. A nice thing about it, it's free, so you know you don't have to spend any extra money if you don't have to. There is just a lot you could do with it. And in order to get it, you just go to Kodi.tv or just Google Kodi, click on downloads, and select the OS that you use. Uh, you can use almost on anything. If you guys want me to do an in-depth uh, setup for Kodi or XBMC, drop it in the comments below. I'll show you how I set it up. The next software that I like to use, it is a paid software, you'd have to buy it, but JRiver. And like, if you're an audiophile and that it matters for you and no video quality, JRiver is the way to go. And I'm not being sponsored by them at all. And this is how it looks like. Very similar to Kodi. It doesn't have the same modularity, but like, you can go into theater view. And then you can just use a remote control and you have audio, your videos, movies, shows, everything. Playlists, gadgets. In a way, it's kind of like a Windows Media Player in a way, the way it looks and, and feels just blown up. And I love the settings in here. When you go into options, you can control everything from your audio to your theater view. You can set up television, video, and I'll just describe those changes. If you click on the little cog over here and you go into DSP Studio, you could go ahead and set the number of channels, what kind of mixing you want to do, uh, what kind of encoding, volume levels, adaptive levels. I like to use uh, night mode all the time because sometimes some movies it's just the audio when they're speaking the dialogue too quiet and the action the music and explosions too loud so it's just you know this balances out really really nice and it has also kind of room correction so you could tell it exactly how far the distance for every speaker that you have in your home theater it is by far like my number one go-to software is this J River? And I mean, you could go ahead and give it a free shot and see if you like it yourself. And if you want to, you could purchase it. See how much it costs. So the master license is eighty dollars, but this could, you could use it basically on all the OSs. So you know, in my opinion, it's worth getting. The next one, and I personally have not used, but people have recommended a lot. So it's only thing I'm going to be putting on this. HTPC is Plex and um, it's supposed to be really good on streaming and using basically any desktop as a server so you can just go ahead and stream all your movies and everything in one location which is pretty cool so I'm looking forward to using this and uh, for the most part it's free it, it does have a premium option and it is a subscription base but it gives you extra stuff other software that you'll have is of course you have to have all your game launchers so definitely steam and steam does have a big picture view so you just click on view and you just click on big picture mode and now you can just, you can just use your controller play your games at a tv and we can see all your games here we assume of course there's nothing uh installed here yet but yeah, that's too many games I can probably will never catch up with. Anyways, so I'll exit here. So this is really, really nice. On a big screen, it's pretty cool. And, uh, and of course, you know, you install your Origin, you install Epic, all those other game launchers that you like. Because not only you can watch movies, we play the games here too. All right, and that's it. And now we're going to go over the peripherals that I use for HTPC. And of course, the first one is a remote control. A basic Roswell remote, which is what I'll really need it for. But this model has been discontinued, so I have uh, a different product in the description below. And all links will be in the description below. So this is a, a nice basic uh, remote. So whenever you're in Kodi or JRiver, 
You could go ahead and use this old Plex media server. You could go ahead and use this. So you don't have to use a little keyboard or mouse or anything. Just nice and simple remote. For everyday computing tasks, I'll be using this keyboard here. It's a keyboard and touchpad uh, combo from Logitech. It's simple, it's portable, it's easy to use. When you're on the couch, you need something like this. And now, of course, we gotta play some games on here. So the next thing I'll be using is this Xbox controller as my controller of choice. I mean, you can use almost any controller out there. I just like the feel of the Xbox controller. Got big old hands and the controller's pretty big, so fits nicely. And lastly, the gaming mouse and keyboard that I'll be using on this PC is the Marvo CM373. Uh, and I have a link for it over here for my review, so check it out. Uh, it's a pretty decent, nice, small, compact, so you know you can put it on a coffee table and go ahead and use it. Lap desks they have out there for gaming, so you can just have it on your lap too as well. It uses red switches for the keyboard, which is nice and quiet, so you know you're not going to be disturbing a lot of people. That's nice. And the mouse is actually pretty decent, so. Hey, it's a good combo to check out. And that's all the peripherals we'll be using on this uh, HTPC. And there you guys have it. That's how you build an HTPC with hardware lying around. Now, if you have to buy brand new hardware, I would suggest going for either an i5, a current gen i5, or a current gen Ryzen 5. That will be more than enough power for gaming and for media consumption if you're want to go all out but this does the job nicely and uh i am looking forward to using it i love the small form factor of this case fit almost anywhere and it's sleek it looks really really really, really nice yeah so some of the difficulties that i had with this build is microsoft nerfed that process so you can't really do that anymore you can't upgrade anymore you can go from windows 10 to windows 11 but of course since i'm using older hardware here uh devil's canyon not support it's kind of weird devil's canyon i7 is faster than the i3 they recommend as a recommend processor new technology new securities what can i say if you guys want me to do a video on how to upgrade this to windows 11 and bypassing microsoft drop it in the comments below but yeah that's all the difficult i had aside from having big hands and a small case to put my hands in when working if you enjoy this type of content smash that like hit subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified when i release my next video if you guys have a question or comment i want to say hello drop it in the comments below and i will see you guys next time peace Thank you.